Hello everyone, welcome to another comparison video between Notion versus Coda. Now, which one is better? Uh, we will basically learning in this video which one is better. Uh, now, both of these platforms are uh, platforms that are a project management platforms and platforms that allow you to do a lot of different stuff. Now, as you can see, here's how Coda looks like, right? You can manage projects, you have project summaries, stand up meeting notes, tasks and stuff like that. It's a really simple, I would say, platform, more simpler than, uh, you know, Notion to even learn, right? Uh, and as you can see, this is the pricing. It starts from $10 a month per doc maker, right? Because these are basically docs, you know, this what you see is a doc, right? It's kind of like Google Docs on steroids, I'm not gonna lie, right? And uh, the rating is 4.7 out of 5, which is great. As you can see, Coda is unique work management platform that combines spreadsheets and documents in one powerful tool. Designed with makers in mind, Coda offers unparalleled flexibility and essentially lets you design your own custom productivity app from the ground up. It's ex as exciting as it's intimidating. So as you can see, here are uh, some of the things why you might prefer Coda over Notion. Coda is more powerful than Notion, has more extensive feature set, which includes powerful databases, formulas, and workflow automation, right? So you can automate a lot of the stuff in Coda. Coda allows you to add unlimited editor and viewer users, making it more affordable solution for teams. Also, it offers more add-ons and integrations with third-party applications, which is great because then you can add in, you know, spreadsheet, Google Docs, stuff like that in your Coda uh, you know, pretty much in your Coda, right? Uh, documents, right? So the Coda team develops new features at a very fast pace, releasing updates nearly every single week. So as you can see, here are some of the users, what they say about Coda. Notion is an excellent product, but it is way too limited in terms of buttons, connections, integrations, automations. Now, if you're looking something that is more so on the, you know, connections, integrations, automation side, then Coda is extremely powerful. It's starting the smoothest process, but the power and flexibility it gives us makes it totally worth it. As you can see, now this is basically review on uh, Coda. Notion, obviously we all know Notion, it's a great database platform. Um, you know, it's really, really hard to learn if you're a beginner, uh, you know, and uh, as you can see here, some of the pricing, obviously it's free, but advanced features are starting from $8 uh, per user per month. Obviously, it's 4.7 on Capterra right here. Uh, now, Notion started out as a note-taking tool and it has built up you know, a long way since its early days, but it remains, it remains strongly document-oriented. Uh, and as you can see, you know, obviously, it offers Kanban boards, databases, stuff like that, right? Um, now, obviously, why you might prefer Notion over Coda? Coda has a steeper learning curve than Notion. I wouldn't really say so. I would say Coda is a much more easier um, easier platform to learn uh, because Notion has a lot more to offer in this case. Notion is better suited for implementing in a wiki, right? Documents in Coda can be linked together as easily as in Notion. Notion tends to be faster than Coda and most users experience fewer performance issues and Notion offers a better experience on mobile devices and you can easily access some of the best Notion widgets even on mobile, right? So if I wanted to pick between Notion and Coda, I would definitely choose Notion because it has more to offer. It is harder to learn, but also you, you have, you know, templates you have on mobile, uh, you can use it on mobile, you have, um, you know, a lot of different things that you can do. You can uh, uh, basically link, uh, you know, uh, documents in co in uh, Notion, not Coda, uh, you know, really easily. And it's probably the best way to work with data in documents. Now, if you want something really, fa uh, really fast, go with Notion. If you want something a bit more simpler, but you're more on a tech side, uh, you need, you know, you, you, you can do automations and stuff like that, then use Coda. Uh, but I would definitely go with Notion uh, right here because it's a, it's a much better tool overall, I would say. Uh, this is just my opinion, obviously. Comment down below which one uh, is, uh, you know, your winner in your eyes. Obviously, for me, it's Notion. And subscribe to this channel if you want more videos uh, like this and comparison videos like this. We're uploading five videos a day, every single day on this channel. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.